Hey there, Caitlin here, a former teacher, and today I want to talk to you about remote learning with Class Dojo. We know how important your relationships are with your students and families, and we are here to help support you as you make the transition to a remote learning community. The good news is that there's so much you can already do with Class Dojo to continue the learning outside of the classroom. Once families are connected and you've created your class, you can use Class Story to share photos, videos, files, announcements, events. It's your own private feed to share with families and students, making it the perfect place to share for remote learning. Class Story is great for remote learning. You can record up to eight minutes in video for things like lessons. You can share links to learning sites to keep students practicing their skills. You can upload attachments like worksheets and other printables for families to complete at home, or even create an event. Set a day and time for your entire class to come together by meeting digitally through Zoom or Google Hangouts. Portfolios is a great and easy way to keep students engaged and sharing their learning wherever they are. They can submit photos, videos, drawings. They can add voice notes. They have choice to share with you what they're up to or you can assign activities. They can complete these on Chromebooks, laptops, iOS and Android devices, and you can even leave feedback by liking or commenting on their work. You can use portfolios for remote learning by sharing activities to assign projects directly to student devices to which students can respond. You can encourage students to create and upload photos, videos, drawings, and journal entries to share their learning experience. And you can allow students to upload files and even submit voice recordings to explain their thinking. You've built an amazing classroom community and messaging allows you to continue building those relationships by communicating with every family. You can send messages, you can send photos and stickers, even voice notes, and all this without giving out your phone number. Families will feel at ease knowing they can reach out to you as your community transitions to remote learning and there's automatic translations in over 35 languages. You can use messaging for remote learning by sharing updates with families in individual messages or to all parents via announcements. You can schedule messages to remind families to complete nightly reading or other remote learning activities. And you can use messaging simply to check in on families to see how they're doing with the transition to a remote learning environment. All those awesome things you can do on Class Story, you can also do school wide on School Story, meaning you can share photos, videos, files, announcements, events with every family connected to your school in Class Dojo. This private secure feed ensures that everyone is in the know about school closures and other important announcements with automatic translations in over 35 languages. Plus, you can see how many families view your posts, meaning you can rest easy knowing that your entire school community is in the know. So how might you use School Story for remote learning? Well, you can share school-wide announcements to keep everyone informed. You can create events like digital town halls to allow families to connect with the school via Zoom or Google Hangouts, and upload attachments like newsletters and other printables families may need, even though they can't access school to pick them up. So what's next? We at Class Dojo are working hard to make sure you have everything you need to transition to a remote learning community. Be sure to check out classdojo.com slash remote learning or drop us an email at remote learning at classdojo.com. You can also join us on Facebook in the Class Dojo teacher Facebook community to share ideas, ask questions, and get to know other teachers like you. That's it for now. Bye. <laughs>